It doesn't matter if you're looking for additional privacy while watching TV, watching geo-restricted content, maybe getting some free content from anywhere in the world, or not allowing your ISP to see what you're doing so they can throttle you. I'm gonna go through all this and more using Starlink and Apple TV and finally a VPN. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today, we're coming to the end of some fireside. Sad, sad. Love that smokiness. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking photo, talking video. Today is a technology day. Well, you guys have been asking me these questions that I just went through with you for about a month or two. I guess it's kind of on radar because there's a lot of sports fans out there that absolutely love watching certain games in certain regions and certain locations that they can't, or they have to pay extra money for doing so. That's one of the big things. Also, a lot of people are looking for more privacy. So if you're watching HGTV, for example, you don't wanna all of a sudden get an ad spot when you log into Amazon for some tools. It just gets to be annoying because they're selling all of this data. They know how long you watch, how many hours in a specific channel, and then this information is sold. So by using a VPN, it doesn't matter if you're using a Fire Stick or if you're using Apple TV. I'm actually using Apple TV today. I'm gonna to show you exactly how to do this. Now for many years, I've been using a Fire Stick, but the wife really doesn't like the Fire Stick. The UI is just not Apple-esque right? It is not as easy. So I said, you know what, let's go ahead and pick up one of the new Apple TVs that just came out with the new TV OS. I said, you know, we'll give it a shot. Not cheap, 150, 170, 180 bucks, something like that, but it looks pretty good. And she actually likes the user interface. Obviously the control is nice, but the actual interface is nicer than what you get with a Fire Stick. Now, is a Fire Stick a hell of a lot cheaper? Yes, it is. Now, I've been using a VPN on all of our Fire Sticks for years now. I just like it. I like to have that privacy where the different companies out there don't have to watch every move I make. What am I watching? What am I not watching? How many hours I'm watching it? What am I doing? It just gets to be annoying. So a VPN allows me to fix that. But also there's a lot of ISPs out there that are analyzing your traffic. So if you're watching a lot of 4K videos, they can see that because instead of them just getting ones and zeros that are encrypted, they see that they're sending you a 4K video and they don't like it. So what do they do? They throttle you back. So they slow down your internet. You don't even know it. Well, this is why, because you were watching too much 4K video. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it is the truth. So by using a VPN, they don't see that you're watching a 4K video. That's all they see is encrypted ones and zeros coming through and that's it. They're none the wiser. That's perfect, that's the way we like it. Also, like I said before, it's kind of cool being able to watch. For me, I like soccer. Overseas, it's football. And there's certain times when let's say there is a game going on in Brazil that we can't see here in the US. Or if we wanna see it in the US, we have to pay a crazy amount of money to watch it. I could just simply change my server from a US server to a Brazil server and now just watch it on their local TV. Very simple, right? So that whole geo restriction or geo locking is just out when you use a VPN. Now using a VPN on the Fire Stick was very easy because there was a ton of them. When you get into the Apple ecosystem, there is not many providers that offer an app. They don't offer a VPN, okay? And that is a problem. But luckily, the company that I always tell you guys about, Pure VPN, they actually have an app. So it's super just stupid simple to be able to use. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the install literally from scratch because I took the Apple TV 
from the house. I know the wife's gonna be pissed, but I took it from the house and uh, I just, I flashed it basically. I deleted everything so I can show you how this works from scratch. I'll show you how to do the install. Matter of fact, you can tell here on the back, we have power, we have an ethernet port, and we have an HDMI. Now, this version has the ethernet port. This is the 4K version. I would suggest using the ethernet port if you can. If you have the means, if you can put this close to an ethernet connection, it is definitely a better way to go. But for me, I'm using gaming routers that are extremely fast and Wi-Fi on this works perfectly. But make sure you have an AX, maybe a 6E, AX type of router that will actually send 4K quickly. Once again, gaming routers usually do. Now let me show you real quick here. You have a cable, this is it. This is how simple it is, right here. You have your power cable, that goes in here, just like that. And then you have your HDMI cable, which I have strung into this TV here in the studio. It looks like this. Now this is a heavy duty 4K HDMI cable. Don't use this cheap, crappy cable, all right? And then later on, you're like, I don't know why it's freezing. I don't know why it doesn't look good. I don't know why it's a little bit. Just buy a good cable. They're not cheap, but buy a good one. Trust me. You just simply stick that in there and we're done. <laughs> That's it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on the other side of the camera. I'm gonna pull this out and I'm gonna zoom into this and I'm gonna show you how to set this up. It is really simple, but some people just, they get leery at doing this kind of stuff. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it so that now you can go do it for yourself. And now, once again, have that ability to have privacy, to be anonymous when you're watching TV. Have the ability to watch geo-locked content, which is awesome. Watch free content throughout the world that normally you can't get to. And then, of course, don't allow your ISP to know what the hell you're doing. Encrypt your data so they don't know that you're watching 4K video and they can't throttle you because of it, right? Super, super simple. Anyways, let's get to this. I'm gonna put this down right back here. And once again, I'm gonna zoom in and I'll show you how to do this. Yes, English it is. Region, we're gonna set it up for United States. Data privacy, we'll just go ahead and hit continue. Automatically set up your TV. Now, we can set it up through the iPhone or manually. Most of you guys, if you're gonna use an Apple TV, probably have an iPhone anyways, so we're gonna set it up using the iPhone. So it says unlock your iPhone, your iPad or iTouch, connect to a Wi-Fi network, turn on Bluetooth, hold the device close to the Apple TV. All right, that works out. So we'll go ahead and turn on Bluetooth. And now we'll hold it next to the Apple TV and it pops up as set up your Apple TV. We're gonna hit set up. iCloud for home will be turned on to set up Apple TV. That's fine for now. There you go. We type in this authorization code 4693. So what it's doing, it's doing the entire setup for you so that you don't have to do it manually. If you have an iPhone or an iPad or i whatever, I would do it this way because then you don't have to really do anything. It does all of the heavy lifting and once it's done, we'll be able to move forward and setting up the VPN. So on the TV, we have required passwords. It says always require, require after 15 minutes or never require. I don't really need a password because I don't have young children anymore where I have to worry about them watching TV at a certain hour or something. So I'm gonna hit never require. Now it says setting up from your iPhone. The following settings can be transferred from iPhone JC or you can customize them individually. So here you have your three settings, allow Siri, allow Apple to review your audio. In other words, it's going to listen to you. And then finally, allow other apps to use your location. Now you can go and set this up however you want to, or we can leave it however it's currently set on my phone and just hit continue. So for me, I'm just gonna hit continue because I already have that pretty much secured. Now it's asking you where exactly is this Apple TV located because you can have a lot of them. So this one, I'm gonna go down to living room and I'm gonna call this our living room Apple TV. Now it says Siri can recognize your voice. Recognize my voice, I'm not gonna do it now, we can do that later. 
see the world. With the aerial screensaver, you can enjoy HD video of beautiful locations all over the world. Additional videos can be downloaded automatically. We're gonna hit not now. This is pretty cool though. I love that screensaver that they use. And now analytics. You want the analytics sent or not? For me, I don't want my analytics sent. They can go and use someone else's analytics. So I hit don't send. And then finally your warranty, and I'm gonna hit agree. I already went through that in the past. Terms and conditions, agree. You don't really have too much of a choice if you wanna use their product. So that's it, the Apple TV is set up. Now what we wanna do is we wanna to go to the App Store to download Pure VPN. Welcome to the App Store. Discover amazing apps that help unlock the full potential of your Apple TV. Fantastic, let's hit OK. And here we are, these are the apps and there is a ton of them. Just like your Fire Stick, you're gonna have your Peacock, your Hulu, your Sling, your Disney Plus, wouldn't suggest Disney Plus, but everything is there. Your Prime, I have Amazon Prime, so Prime Video is there. Paramount, Netflix, YouTube, everything is here. Now what we wanna do is we want to download an app. All right, we go into the App Store and then go to the magnifying glass and instead of typing it in, we'll just speak it. Pure VPN. And there you go. Let's come down here, click Pure VPN, click the button again to download. All right, it's downloaded. Let's go ahead and open it and we'll do a quick setup. Now, it recognizes that I am in Miami. Well, I'm actually in West Palm Beach, but the closest server to me would be Miami. So we can use that for now. But remember, we can change that to any server that we want. There's about 80 in the entire world. So right now, we'll just leave it as Miami. Now there is a week trial, but if you go ahead and use my code, you're going to get a major discount off the normal price anyways. It's literally gonna be a few dollars per month. So let's go to have an account and log in. Now that's all that we have to do is scan this code and it will take us right to the authentication page. Can you see that, folks? Let me see. We just hit submit. As you can see, the number is already there, 800-965. This is basically going through the authorization process. And now it's asking me for the login information. Now I'm gonna go ahead and type that in real quick. I hit submit after I put in my login credentials and it says, logged in successfully. And that's it. I like being able to do it through the phone instead of having to do it through the TV because when you do it through the TV, it's just, it's hard to go from character to character to character, especially if you have a long email address. Doing it through the phone just is much, much easier. And that is it. We're gonna hit okay using our Apple TV remote. We come up to Miami and click on Miami because that is the server that we wanna use. Come down to connect. PureVPN would like to add VPN configurations. All network activity on the Apple TV may be filtered or monitored when using the VPN. Do you wanna allow it? Yes. There we go. So all of your traffic is being filtered, basically. So like I said before, the ISP is not going to know that you're watching videos or anything that you're watching or what site you're on or anything that goes on with this connection. It just simply doesn't know. The ISP, that's all they get is ones and zeros and that is it. So as you can see here, we have Miami, US. That is the connection. Now if we come over to home and then down to location, as you can see, it says recommended location is Miami, right? That is our recommended. And the reason being is because we are closer to it than anywhere else. We can stay in the United States if we want, but we could connect to servers anywhere. Miami, Phoenix, Los Angeles, Chicago, New Jersey, New York. Now, like I was saying before, let's say I wanted to watch that soccer game in Brazil. Instead of United States, I would come all the way down to where we find Brazil. I think it should be close to the bottom here. There we go right above South Africa, Brazil. We come over here, I hit connect. It says connecting, it says you are already connected to a location, please disconnect first. No problem. So we're gonna come over here, we're gonna come down to this connection. We're gonna click on that icon, it now is disconnected. Then we come over to locations once again because we're going to pick our location. We're gonna come all the way down to Brazil, connect to Brazil, there we go. 
So now, no matter where we go, what we watch, what video we watch, what channel we watch, anything, it believes that we are located in Brazil. So if there is once again some Brazil content, maybe a football game or soccer here in the United States that is going on, we will now be able to watch it just like a local. So that's all we have to do is click on this disconnect. It is now disconnected from Brazil. And then we'll come over to our location. Let's go to the United States and we will pick Miami once again. So instead of Brazil, now we're connected to Miami. All of the traffic that goes through this TV will show up as Miami. So pretty simple, right? Now we have Pure VPN as an app along with all the rest of the apps. We can watch movies, we can go to YouTube, we can do anything that we want, but once again, we do it anonymously. The ISPs don't know where we are, so they can't throttle us. We can go and watch free content that we don't have to pay for because we are in a specific location or any other type of geo-locked or geo-restricted content, we can watch that. And of course, privacy, privacy, privacy. Right? When I'm watching, for example, Food Network, I don't need to go to Amazon and get sold some type of food stuff, something for the kitchen, a blender, something. I just don't want it. They don't need to know what I'm watching, when I'm watching it, how many minutes, how many hours, how many days, what am I doing? What is my pattern? And that's what they do. They put together this avatar of you. They know who you are, what you watch, what you like, and then they sell to you. I don't like it. <laughs> and that's why I use Pure VPN, right? Every once in a while, I will also go and watch a football, a soccer game. And that's a lot of fun to be able to do it where normally I wouldn't be able to do it. But the main reason that I use it is just to be anonymous. I don't want these people to track me all the damn time. It's just stupid, right? Absolutely stupid. And now that Pure VPN actually has an app that's in the Apple App Store, that's amazing. Because if you look, many, most VPN companies are not in the Apple store, all right? It must have been very difficult for them to get there. And I'm glad they are because I use them all the time. So once again, check this out. I think you're going to love it. Like I said from the very beginning, it's very simple to set up. Now, if you have a Fire Stick, you could do the exact same thing and use Pure VPN with the Fire Stick. I was doing that for like a year and a half now, two years. It works out perfectly. But with Apple, it was difficult to get a VPN on there. Now they're there. This is Awesome, absolutely awesome. I can use it now both on the Fire Stick and on Apple TV. Now my wife can use one of these <laughs> instead of one of these. And I mean, I get it. It's definitely cleaner, it's slicker. The UI is just beautiful. It works really nice. So if you do have the latest and greatest Apple TV, download version 17.0 or newer. I think it's 17.2 as of the making of this video. You have to be 17.0 or newer to be able to use the Pure VPN app. So make sure that you download or update your TV, your Apple TV, or it won't work. All right. So definitely give it a shot. I think it is awesome. Down below, I'll put a link. I'll also put a link in the description and the pinned comment, which is jchristina.com forward slash VPN. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash VPN, or you could use a promo code, which is just jchristina when checking out, and you're gonna get like 15 additional percent off just by using that promo code. So definitely test out Pure VPN because I've been loving them and they work out fantastic. Getting that extra 15% right now, it's the holidays, there's even more discount going on. So this is 15 on top of that and it's literally only a few dollars per month. Just to have the security and the privacy and to be able to do all of the extra stuff and not have the ISP constantly watching what you do, I think is absolutely worth a couple of dollars per month. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, throw it a thumbs up. That'd be awesome. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, consider doing so. If you have subscribed, thank you. Click this little button over here so when I go live or when a new video comes out, you'll be notified of it immediately. Also, if you just wanna say thank you for all of my hard work on this channel, there's a little thank you button right down here. Click that, give a dollar or two if you like. If not, that's fine. Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. If you haven't downloaded any of my eBooks, go check them out. They're 100% free. Go to jchristina.com 
forward slash books. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash books. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools I've invented for you and me over the years. And hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me and my family. That's it, guys. I'm out of here for the end of the vlog. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next one. Love you all. Bye.